Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, yes. man. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Atimitele TV. Thank you, sir. Glad Thank you for having me. Yeah, Such a great honor. Yes. <laughs> I know, man, um, but uh, thank you for having me. I'm yeah, glad so I can man. finally come through. Indeed. Yes, sir. Uh, greetings to our viewers at home. Uh, we are excited and delighted to have the icon of Ayanda Dadzi, whom I believe is very much known around the province of KwaZulu Natal and even broader. In fact, he's an. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you could say that. You could say <laughs> that. Um, greetings, everyone who's watching right now, and thank you so much for tuning in. It's such a great thing, um, an honor to be here. Oh yeah, yeah. great stuff. We are yeah. very much honored. honored thank you, sir. To thank you, sir. Maybe briefly, Anna, before yes. we get into details, can mm -hmm. you just briefly tell us? Who exactly is Ayanda? Um, yeah. Is Ayanda, <laughs> yeah, be, yeah. That big, uh, yeah. Brand. Um, Ayanda is a young man, um, fresh young man, as you all yeah. can see. I'm <laughs> um, from Apple Spot, uh, Zawatin, Kaya Gitu, Zawatin, I'm from. Yeah, man, I'm in Sala Pagat, Gway Mob. And yeah, man. And, so uh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes, yeah, figure, yes, yeah, figure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but uh, okay. over and above that, um, Gum Zalwane, mm. um, um, a former student, that's a UKZN, University of Wazul Natal. Okay. Um, I did my degree there. I think we'll talk about it later mm. on. And yeah, and I'm, I'm a passionate singer. I'm a passionate artist. I'm an artist. I, I believe I'm an artist uh, who sings gospel mm -hmm. music, not just a singer, but I'm an all-rounder type of guy, an artist. And yeah, basically that's that's who I am. Ah. Uh, no, this is quite interesting. <laughs> I'm sure uh, it's an opportunity also for our viewers here to just yeah, get yes. to know Ayanda a bit more. Yes, sir. You are just talking about something. You are saying you are a former UKZN student. Yes, sir. Can you just elaborate a bit on that? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I just graduated. Um, okay. uh, did my LLB degree there. Oh, wow. um, yeah, man. For the past decade, I think. Mm. Uh, but yeah, okay. finally graduated. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'm an alumni now, so I'm <laughs> 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 So apart yeah. from singing, apart from Ayanda that you know on stage, yes, sir. well, he's a graduate. Yeah, yes, he's yes, an yes. LLB. It's not just a child. <laughs> sure really yeah, no, and most definitely. Both, you know what you do yeah. on stage and what you yeah. do among the hazards and also yeah. your studies. How difficult has this been to you? It was the most difficult thing. It was challenging. Uh, but fortunately enough, I love challenges. Yeah. Uh, I confront challenges head on. Mm. Um, and so I just I just told myself, I decided, um, I made an agreement with myself that mm. what I've started, I, I must bring it to completion, I must fulfill it, I must finish it. Because um, when I started back in 2011, I, I matriculated in 2010, mm. started doing my first year um, at UKZ and I was doing social sciences, Bachelor right. of Social Sciences. Mm. But then I realized, man, with the um, political space is not my thing, right. and there was psychology somewhere there, mm. and also I, I don't have the patience, man, to to be <laughs> a psychologist. I, I just don't have it in me you know what i mean and so um later on i think it was in 2015 when i decided you know what let me just go to what i've always wanted to do which was llp okay. but i couldn't do it um when i matriculated because of my points right. so i just wanted to do something that will get me into the university space okay. and then i can change later on so i decided in 2015 um and that's when i started doing my llp Hmm. Yeah. yeah, very much interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure yes, the parents yeah. are also very much excited about these achievements. Because, yeah. You know, parents have got this thing of saying, well, we see him as an actor. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. very much interested in that. Yeah. There are no guarantees. You may sure. make it, you may not make it. But yeah. if there is that degree or that yeah. diploma, that's actually what really drives, yeah. you know, our parents, you know, to, to sort of push us, yeah. you know, a bit more. That's true. Uh, because even though I think my family was um, at ease, uh, they've always been... Um, uh, firm believers in the gift that I have. They've always had this thing, Uguti, this one will definitely make it big mm. in the big time and become um, um, a well-respected musician. Mm. And But I think low-key they had that uh, that uh, worry at the back of their yeah. of their heads, Uguti. Um, you know, um, yeah, so I think um, the degree also comes as a relief to them as well to say at least, even though we believe in what he has, mm. but he has something to fall back on, yeah. should think Things don't go um, as planned. Yeah. Well, that's 
that should be a very big relief to the parents. Yes, sir. But, but now, Ayanda, we are in a state yeah. of disaster as a country. Yes, sir. You are aware we are currently sitting at level four in yes, sir. as the lockdown is concerned. Yes, sir. There is quite a number of challenges that business people are facing. Sure. You know, yourself, yeah. as an artist, I'm yeah. sure you are facing quite a number of challenges yeah. in terms of getting your things going. You know, but one thing that I also notice with you, you are not just an artist, but you yes, also sir. happens to be yeah. an event organizer. Yeah, that's event correct. Yeah, events. that's correct. Yeah. How has the lockdown affected you? Very you? much, um, because we were supposed to have um, PMB pre-Easter yeah, in I April. On the on the fourth of April, we're supposed mm. to have that, um, um, and we had to postpone. Um, eventually, had to cancel because, yeah. uh, man, this thing has affected. But I'm I, I think I'm mostly worried about the people that uh, the PMP pre Easter caters for, mm. in terms of um, employment and and job creation. Mm. Uh, there's a lot um, because we 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 usually hire staff of over. 30 people um, to 50 people yeah, just and to just around. to help around yeah with the whole production musicians from different provinces as well um, so it, it really it really uh, it has affected us a lot mm. and I think it's going to take us time to recover but definitely we will recover uh, we will come back we will come back with a bank we are preparing yeah, something uh, yeah man <laughs> we, we have to make sure that we all make right. up for all the lost time mm. and we bring all the juice we bring all yeah. um, the, the, the best mm. from PMP Pre-Easter Festival. But yeah, man, we, we, are, we, we remain hopeful. But apart from that Pre-Easter gospel yeah. event you were looking at, yes. are there any other events that were sort of affected where you have been, you have been booked? Definitely. And unfortunately, you had to yes. be cancelled because yeah. obviously you know, there are no gatherings, yeah. gatherings that were allowed. Um, we were supposed to have one of our biggest events, which is a United Tour, together with Ubabu Ngube Gombata and Togozo, which was said to be at uh, Carnival City on okay. the 1st, 2nd of May. Um, and at that event, that is where I was going to record my new album. And so that has, um, because I love uh, recording live, mm. I mean, it, it, it just exposes everything and 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 all that i am and um I, I, we had to we had to stop and say you know what uh, let's postpone as well um let's postpone the issue of recording yeah. um we'll just be dropping singles yeah. from time to time but um, an album we'll record live we'll wait until yeah. this thing settles down and yeah. then yeah yeah. Lest we forget that he was also going to be part of a night with Benjamin Jubin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, in Pochepstein. We were looking forward to going to Pochepstein mm -hmm. because I think it was going to be my second time going to Pochepstein. Okay. Um, and um, I mean, I was looking forward to that yeah. one. Definitely, particularly that one because I haven't done a lot of uh, work mm -hmm. in Pochepstein and yeah. a lot of people so don't know this was going to be an opportunity mm -hmm. for me um, for people to see me, man, in Port yeah. Epstein and get to understand and get mm -hmm. to get to know the ministry yeah. that I under carries, because it was it was not a um, it was not a busy event, man. Mm. It was it, it was going to be a just nice just chilled <laughs> event with a tight lineup, mm. um, so people were were going to have time to actually get to listen to uh, specific individuals and get to know them better. So, um, but we, 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 we trust a lot that yeah. uh, it no, will happen again. I'm definitely. <laughs> again. Yeah, it has to happen. Because fortunately for us, it was not more of a, of, of a cancellation. It's sure, more of a sure. Postponement. Yeah. We're still looking forward, you know, when things are all just done and dusted, yeah. and the dust has settled. We should be looking at another piece. And I think, yeah, I, I think it has given us time as well to prepare ourselves more uh, for Abanba So it's, it's, for me, it's, um, it's a setback, yes, but it's a blessing in disguise as well because we get to prepare so that we give them the best. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's, that's beautiful. So yeah. people of Oko district, now you've heard it from the horse's mouth. Yes, He's sir. still coming to Port Yes, sir. And I'm sure it's at him ten events that will be yeah, giving him Yeah, most deaf. Most so, deaf. yeah, you know, <laughs> brace most yourself deaf. for a big one. Yeah, man. But then, I want, I end up, yes, you sir. know, I've seen you sharing a stage with other big brands. You are yes, a sir. big brand yourself. But I've seen you sharing a stage. I, I, I remember yeah. you were also part of the event that was cancelled and that was, you know, a Tasha Cops event. Sure, sure. 
who's an international icon yes, from the USA. Yes, sir. Can you just briefly tell how has it been, you know, for you as a young person, yes, you know, to be sharing a stage with huge brands, yeah. people that I'm sure as you were growing, you never imagined yourself right yeah. shoulders with them. It has been quite an, a humbling experience for me because a lot of uh, the platforms I've stood in and ministered in, um, it, ha it, it would normally take an artist getting into the industry, it would normally take an artist up to 10 years to get to to those platforms and, and, and perform with the brands that I have worked yes. with. Uh, one, to me, just to mention one, U U U U U Bishop Benjamin Dube. Yes. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm only like five years in the yeah. industry and already I have stood in such platforms and it, it has been such an amazing thing mm -hmm. and it has been such a humbling thing to see the plan of God manifesting with such speed. Uh, because, I mean, I, I've never experienced such acceleration in my really life. It was just absolutely. something else. So the work of God is really doing wonderful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Definitely. It can only be God. You are very much grateful. It can only be God. Now, Ayanda, how, how are you really making it yeah. during this lockdown? Yeah. There is a momentum that you sure. always want to keep sure. as an artist. Yeah. Uh, how, how are you doing you know, during yeah. the lockdown? I think I've been fortunate enough um, to be invited to be involved in a number of projects. I recently did one for um, a church in, in, in Joburg, in Gauteng, and I'm here now. Uh, these are uh, some of the things that one makes sure that we are a part of, just to make sure that people still see us, that we're still around, we still, um, we still got it, you know, we still, we still have it. And I think also social media, keeping in touch with uh, our followers and our audience, and just having a chat from time to time um, gives us that uh, boost and, and yeah. then the push Correct. to also affirm people that we're still around. Mm -hmm. uh, we This thing will pass and we'll still come back Most and definitely. give them our best. Well, that's nice. Yeah. At least we've got to give some hope to the people. Yes, definitely. Definitely. You know, and, and definitely. quite excited about, yeah. about hearing about that. You know, Ayanda, between last year and now, sure. you've mentioned quite a few things. You yes. did about the degree. Yes. You spoke about recording an album. Yeah. You're speaking now about the church in yes. Gauteng. Yeah. What else have you been up to, you know, between then and yeah. now? Um, one of, I, I took, um, this one is more personal, I took, a, I took up a project at home. Um, to build, so we've we've oh, been busy with that as well. I've been building a car, and oh, I that's think. What young people do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I was sharing with one of my friends um, actually, Niti. I think I'm too young for these yeah. things, but these <laughs> things are heavy. Yeah. But it's things that needs to be done. Mm. Um, so I've been busy with that. I love mm. building, man. Mm. It's it's mm. one of the most satisfying things and mm. fulfilling mm. Uh, victories. And mm. yeah, man, with. The degree. Yeah. I've been also making sure that mm. I, I I grow the the brand yeah, and and Danzi. Even though I cannot talk about it now because we still need to shoot the finale. But I also uh, have been fortunate enough to work uh, with product with production with Thomas Palawase Teguini, oh. where it's a show where they scout talent. Mm. Um, so I was a presenter for that uh, for okay. that uh, talent set show. Nice. And yeah, man, we'll talk more about it um, closer to time when okay. it's going to go. On TV and all that. It's a TV. It's a TV oh, show. Lovely. It's gonna be a TV show. So, uh, Babu Geli would so uh, would really be seeing me. Yeah, yeah man, they'll be seeing me. A lot of me. So, if you don't like me, brace yourself, man. I'm still gonna be around. I'm still gonna be around. You'll open radio. You'll find me there. Yeah. You'll open your TV. Any channel. Yeah. You'll find me there. Because I mean, we need to secure, man. Mm. We need to cement ourselves, as uh, uh, Miss Universe have said, man. As yeah. young people, we need to get into spaces and cement ourselves and make a mark mm. and make sure that we we actually build um, uh, legacies and leave yeah. legacies okay. when our time mm. to pass comes. Now this is quite inspiring, Ayanda, yes. especially because we are at this stage. Sure. You know, I, I don't think South Africa, even people of my age and even older, we've never been in a lockdown kind of thing. Yeah, man, it's a scary and now thing. as we are talking about all these achievements and yeah. the projects that you are involved in, I'm also thinking here to say, is there anything that probably at your, yourself at a yes, personal sir. level yes, and, and even, you know, joining, you know, resources with other sure. artists, is there anything that you are sort of involved in now that you are doing to sort of assist 
and plow back to the people? Most definitely. Um, the, the one uh, project that I, I mentioned uh, that we did in Joburg is actually for a charity um, non-profit organization uh, where right. it's, 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 its main purpose is to, because a lot of cash flow has been affected um, because of, of, of the lockdown. And so some of the NPOs have been unable to run mm. um, uh, normal as per norm and, and, and perform their operations. And so what we did was we put together an online show that will be available um, on a platform and all the proceeds from that will make sure that goes to assisting um, that NPO and making sure that the people who actually work as staff members get paid and because they also have a school. Um, so we need to make sure that when we come back, they have means to actually yeah. continue running the school. To give yeah. To the yes, sir. Okay, now that's, that's quite interesting. Yes, sir. I'm sure our viewers at home are also interested to just know what does a day for Ayanda <laughs> Yeah, it has a lot of sleep. I have to, I have to say, and be very okay. blunt. Uh, but I, I, I wake up from half past, uh, half past five to six. Mm. I'm up. Uh, I do my five kilometer run or okay. ten kilometer run, depending how I feel. Trying, um, to keep fit. trying to keep fit, and I have to make sure because people are waiting for us at push up scene, and we yeah. have to give them the energy. We have to come with mm. uh, everything we've got, and mm. so we have to keep fit so that. When the time comes, we are on, on the runway again, we're mm. taking off. And yeah, I mean, I exercise in the morning. Um, during the day, I assist where I can at home because I'm mostly at home these days. Um, the project is 90% done. Okay. And so some of the things that I can do personally, I do myself. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. You know, and congratulations again for the house that you're building. Thank you, sir. I've Thank you. Myself yeah. yeah. It's quite an interesting project. Thanks, so, man. Thank you so much. To be yeah. Achieving you know, so great things is really interesting. And yes, sir. I'm sure it's an inspiration also for a whole lot of other artists. Yes, sir. So, yeah, but Ayanda, I've seen you very much active, and I'm so sure <laughs> you will tell us. You yeah, know, yeah. You will say, Ayanda is quite an, in, an interesting person. To yeah, be yeah. Say, apart from what he's rendering. Sure. But looking at him, you know, he's moved, <laughs> Five kilometers is a secret of, of, of <laughs> on Most definitely, but it's also what I mentioned when we started that I am not just a singer, mm. uh, but I'm an artist. Um, back, back in high school, I used to dance. Right. I used to be a dancer for like four years. Mm. Um, I had a group, I was part of a group, and so a lot of Dancing energy comes from that. Uh, yeah. you know, so uh, yeah, more of a little bit of contemporary mm. dance, um, mm. a little bit of this and that. But uh, yeah, man, I used to be a dancer. Mm. Um, I did a, a little bit of acting somewhere there. Okay. Um, so performing arts is my passion. Yeah. Performing arts is my passion, and I think that's where the secret is. Mm. The passion for performing arts yeah. that I have is. Um, uh, helping me and it's what makes me to be able to uh, make my presentation mm. uh, somewhat um, interesting for yeah. every time I get on stage. Mm. Yeah. No, we really love it. <laughs> so, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, No, man, stage. the energy is needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. the energy no, is needed. Interesting. I am the, if you were to look at people around you. Sure. Not even around you, but whether you're looking abroad or sure. around, you know, South Africa as a country. Is there anyone in particular that you yeah. still want to work with? Whether you're talking the collaboration, yes. whether this is a producer or a recording yeah. label. Is there anyone in particular yeah. that you'll want to work with? And, and Definitely. What the reasons for that? Definitely. Um, I think... Uh, <laughs> It's safe for me to mention now because it's still going to happen. Um, I was going to be doing a collaboration with Mas Buyelek Jehov. Okay. Um, old, old ladies. Um, yeah, yeah man. Uh, they're from Impumalanga. Um, they've been around, man, since since I was I was born. They've been around for years. I think recently they celebrated like they celebrated 30 years oh, wow. of singing, and um, it has always been my dream to collaborate with them because mm. one they've 
influenced who I am as a singer. They've influenced my singing a lot and as a brand, my brand and my style and approach to singing. They've influenced that. And unfortunately, uh, he's no more as well, the late Babus Fisongwane. Um, he's one guy I would have really loved to do, you know. Uh, he's one guy I would, re I would have really loved to do a collaboration with him. But uh, my dream came true when uh, Bishop Benjamin Dube um, actually gave me an opportunity to collaborate and work with him. Uh, for me, the relationship and working with him, with Spirit of Praise, was more than a collaboration because the collaboration was just going to be a once-off thing. But uh, that we work on Spirit of Praise, is, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah. So people might still see me there um, moving forward, and it's an ongoing thing. So yeah, man, those are, yeah. and maybe, maybe if God permits, uh, one might want to do a collaboration with Ntogozo, who's my okay. colleague, also right. at Coco Records, uh, you know, yeah, so. Ntogo Zumbam. Okay. Yes. Uh, is she a Mbambo or still? Yeah, she, she's a Mbambo because of uh, the brand now. <laughs> the brand, yeah, yeah, the Mbambo is a brand, but okay. um, but. <laughs> yeah. Talking about Togozo, I remember sure. when you did a show yes, sir. Uh, in Winston Churchill. Yes, sir. She was actually part of that yeah. together with, with her husband. Yeah. Are they the people that actually found. Uh, That's correct. Anna? Yeah. Maybe talk a bit about that? Yes, I was discovered by um, them. Um, uh, Untogozo is actually a colleague because she's an artist, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, she's also an artist signed under the same record label, but the record label is owned by the husband right. uh, in partnership with, yes, Ubabu Mubego and is partnering with Usis Togom Tembu, who's also a business partner. So, yeah, they, they are actually uh, the ones who discovered me at church. Mm. I was serving at church one particular uh, conference day. Um, and he said, uh, we want you to come and work with us on, um, he was still doing gospel classics at the time. Okay. Um, he said, I want you to come to gospel classics. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So my first breakthrough was TV. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's so are you still with, is it Coco Records? Coco Records, yeah. Are you still with them? I'm still with them and I'm still going to be with them for the longest time. And Yeah, man, it's nice. You normally hear access complaining about the recording. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. Ah, no, man, issues. no. So we are excited yeah. to hear that. Yeah, yeah no, we have, we have the best relationship, man. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I, I don't think there's any other record label in mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy there. So here we go, <laughs> <Coco> Records. <laughs> <laughs> and we are not taking any artists right now, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, <laughs> I'm a gatekeeper now, no. Okay, yeah. now before we conclude, yeah. Ayanda, I'm, I'm sure we've spoken about quite a number of issues, and sure. I, I certainly can say you are an inspiration to Thank you, sir. other artists, but now, you know, you find some artists saying, we have really struggled to make it, in sure, the sure, they're saying it's rough out there, yeah. you know, we are being sidelined, or... We are just not finding those breakthroughs. What yes. sort of advice could you give to up and coming artists? Well, I think, um, of course, one cannot deny the fact that, yes, it's rough out there. I think Mina was fortunate enough to actually be be discovered and I'm working with people who have, who were sort of uh, like forerunners, mm. who have uh, the battles that they've overcome, that means I will not be going through the same things as well. So um, I was fortunate enough, I think it took grace for me because I don't think I would have made it. But for somebody who still wants to make it, um, I think at this day and age, it's very important to not uh, entirely depend on somebody else uh, discovering you and and having sleepless nights just for you um, I think one thing one can one can say that has helped myself as well mm. is that I think I learned um, from the beginning that okay. nobody will have sleepless nights mm. and think about how can I make Ayanda great mm. no one mm. if they have sleepless nights they will have sleepless nights thinking about how can I be great mm. with Ayanda's help. Mm. How can I get something great out of Ayanda? But mm. they will not stay all night thinking about how can I make this young man great. So um, that means I'm responsible for my greatness. Um, I'm responsible for making sure that I push my dream, mm. I pursue my dream, I persevere because uh, even though there are 
sideliners out there. There are people who try and stop you. But this is what Ubabumbata always say, mm. is that if you've worked on your gift enough, mm. your work will speak for you, Correct. even when they try to shut you down. Yeah. And people out there mm. will see, because people are very clever. Mm. Our people are very clever. They can always tell you, no, this guy is great. This guy has got it. So while you wait for um, an opportunity, make sure that you prepare yourself for the opportunity, because if you don't prepare, an opportunity will come and avail, and it will kill you, because it mm. came, mm. Um, you got a chance and an opportunity unprepared. Yeah. Um, so prepare yourself, mm. make sure that even if you were to be given one minute mm. to just sing do your song, to do, give it your all, mm. even if it was just, um, they say, um, uh, seeing a line, mm. make sure that it's your best. It's That's your best. What, that is what helped me because mm. um, it had never dawned in my mind that Ungubego will say, I want to work with that guy. But every time I got a chance to minister at church, whether it was church or whether it was um, Artist Corner, whether it was wherever, plat whichever platform, I always made sure that I give it a kill. Mm. Profound words and powerful, very strong words from Ayang and Dante, giving advice to other artists. He's saying, you need to have passion of what you are doing. Yeah, yeah. You must persevere. But above all, I'm picking up something that says make sure that you are bringing quality into yes, what you are doing because without yeah. quality, yeah. people will not necessarily take serious, take you serious. Yes, and of course. They will struggle, of you course. Know, pushing you further of you course. Know, in terms of what you want to achieve. Yes, sir. Very strong words from this young man. Ayanda, how do people get hold of you? I'm available on Facebook. I am Ayanda Danzi on Facebook. I am Aya underscore and Danzi on Instagram, and I am at Ayandagan Danzi on Twitter. So people can get hold of me, or if they want to book me, I'm still available, man, right. to do bookings. Bookings at royalpriest.co.za. That's where I'm at. Say that again. Ayanda. It's bookings at royalpriest.co.za. That's how you get hold of Ayanda Danzi. This was quite interesting yes, sir. to have you as part of Atim Tele TV. We are really grateful and excited. And this marks the end of our interview with Ayanda Danzi. And straight after this, you will have some entertainment from the poet who is going to introduce himself. But again, after the poet, you will have some Ama Piano Mix brought to us by none other than Usti Bobo from Peter Maritzberg. So have a great evening. Peace and love. Enjoy. Yeah.